make up your mind you're going to stay with the breath for the next few minutes. And then keep that thought in mind, keep that intention in mind. The ability to keep it in mind, that's mindfulness. And then you want to be alert, watch to see what you're actually doing. Are you staying with the breath? If so, just stay there. If not, bring yourself right back. This quality of mindfulness is really important. It means several things. It means, one, the ability to keep something in mind. And that's related to the ability to have your wits about you, to have an idea of what you want to do and then actually be able to carry it through requires that you have mindfulness. Otherwise, you start working on something and get lost and start digressing, and who knows where you end up. But mindfulness is this ability to keep remembering, hey, this is what's really important, this is what I really have to do. And a lot of the Buddhist teachings teach mindfulness in, in action, like the precepts we took just now. You make up your mind that you're going to avoid certain harmful kinds of behavior, and then you try to keep remembering that so you don't suddenly forget. There's a story of a woman who came to Wat Dhamma said at one time, she's going to observe the eight precepts, which include, of course, not eating afternoon. And so one afternoon she was walking past a guava tree there, and the guavas were nice and ripe, and so she just picked one and stuck it in her mouth. And John Fuang happened to be on the other side of the, the driveway there. He said, what do you have in your mouth right there? She suddenly realized that she had forgotten a precept. And so he said, well, make sure you observe one precept, and that's the precept of the mind. Don't do anything unskillful. Of course, that too requires that you keep things in mind. So you want to look at life and, okay, what is, what's skillful, what's not skillful, what kind of behavior do I want to have? And then really keep that in mind. Don't forget. This is one of the reasons why we have the precept against taking alcohol, because you get very mindless. You tend to forget, get intoxicated, and again, you end up doing things and saying things you never meant to do or say before that. So have this ability to keep something continually in mind. That's what keeps you on the path, and so you try to develop it as when we're focusing on the breath right here. As soon as you slip off in the breath, just come right back. Don't get upset that you slipped off, but just remind yourself, that's not where I'm meant to be. And this way you strengthen your mindfulness. So that quality that's keeping things in mind doesn't get shut off. Because all too often when we do something that we know is going to be unskillful, we're very good at shutting the wiser parts of the mind off, saying it doesn't really matter, and it's as if they weren't even looking, or as if you weren't looking. But as I said, there's really no secret place in the world. You do things that other people may not know about, but you yourself know about it. So you want to make sure that there's no secret place for your wisdom, there's no secret place for your mindfulness, that you have your wits about you at all times. Whatever you do or say or think, you want to make sure that it's skillful. And this is how we work on developing that quality of mindfulness, just bringing the mind back to the breath. Every time you forget, as soon as you realize you've forgotten, just bring it back. That realizing that you've forgotten, that's the important part right there. Strengthen that, and you're going to strengthen your mindfulness.